It's Gail with Bernina of Naperville. I haven't even changed my shirt, so guess what? We're making a part two, sort of, of our multi-motion tutorial. Now, here's the benefit. This, we learned in our decorative stitch clinic, multi-motion stitching, how to create this stack design in combi mode, and then um, stitch it out on our machine, right? However, on our Bernina's, pretty much going through all of the machines that have the embroidery capability, you can take a decorative stitch and import it into your embroidery. Well, we can do that, obviously, on our Bernina 880 Plus, which is right behind me. So I'm gonna show you how to save that combination and then how to open it up in embroidery and do some fun things and stitch out some awesome borders. So let's get started. Well, let's start with our screen. It's where we left it from our last tutorial. So all I wanna do now, this is exactly the way we stitched it out. I like it, I fell in love with it. So now I wanna keep it forever. So I'm gonna close out of this screen and I'm gonna open my favorite little heart folders. And I have the option to save. And you can see here, I already had saved it once cause I've been playing with it. But all you have to do is just touch it, hit the check mark, and boom. Now it's saved, and now we can play with it time and time again. Now we also are going to want to do that in embroidery mode. So let's just zoom. So we've zoomed out here so that you can see that I have the embroidery module on, but I'm in sewing mode. That's fine. Sometimes when I stitch, and you've seen me in many tutorials, then I just kind of park the embroidery module arm over to the side and I do a little bit of my stitching. And that's what I did when I did the tutorial for the multi-motion sewing. But now I'm ready to hit the home button and I'm gonna hit our embroidery screen. And now look at our heart button that's right here. So here we are in our screen. We're back over into our embroidery mode and the magic heart button is what you wanna pay attention to. And there's our stack design that we were playing with in the, in the sewing side of the machine. So we're gonna select that. And now we have the single design, but we want more than just a single design. We actually want to create one of these designs and fill a mega hoop because I'm gonna make a little skirt for my Blythe doll and one mega hooping will fit perfectly around for a skirt for her. So first things first, I'm gonna select a hoop and I'm gonna use the mega hoop. And now I also wanna do something a little fun here. I'm gonna take my design and I'm gonna make a copy and I wanna mirror the copy and then I wanna move this right up here, and I'm gonna use my knobs just to get these lined up perfectly. And did you know that you even have a zoom tool on your machine so you can really see how close you're getting something? And I'm just gonna go just like that. That looks pretty good to me. So now I'm gonna say, I, I'm gonna just close back out of that and now I'm gonna select both of my designs. See how these are in layers? I've got the first design, you can tell I've selected it because it's fuchsia. The second design, I can tell I've selected it because that one's fuchsia. And then if I wanna select both, I just select the bottom layer. So now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to just simply go to my move tool, touch this little hoop cross button, and now that puts the design in the middle of the hoop. Now, finally, I'm gonna use a tool that I haven't showed you how to use before. And this is the continuous border tool. It's the butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. And you can see here, it automatically put four repetitions in my mega hoop. And look at these little arrows. Those little arrows are actually 
for um, basting or just placement only so that if we wanted to, we could make hoop after hoop after hoop and make a continuous border. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you wanted to put more repeats in a hoop, you could increase it like this, but you can see it turns red because they don't fit. You could space them out if you don't want them to be totally touching each other. There's all kinds of things that you can do. You can even make multiple designs and then fit it to the hoop with this button here, big butterfly going to a small butterfly in the hoop. So there are multiple different ways that you can play with this feature. Um, I kind of like the six designs. I think I'm gonna pick that actually. So now I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. And now there's my design in the hoop. Now I can also bring other designs into this if I wanted to. For instance, let's say I wanted to put a buttonhole in these to lace some ribbon and I'll show you at the end how cool that's gonna look, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a new design and I'm gonna go over here to my stitches that are preloaded in the machine. And I'm gonna pick a buttonhole, cause why not? Now the buttonhole's going in the wrong direction but we've done this enough to know that we can just turn it to the side, okay? Camilla, sorry about that. So now I'm gonna zoom in again and you can see there's my little buttonhole going sideways through there. So, so now I'm gonna select my buttonhole and now I wanna make a copy and I wanna place that right in the center and use my alignment tool to go right up to those points then I'm gonna make another copy and I'm gonna use my alignment tool to center it by touching the X. Now I'm gonna put that one right there. I'm going to copy again and then oops, I'm going to copy again and that puts it there copy 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 now see it got smart so there are our buttons Right, I have my stuff in, uh, hooped up. I'm using this cute tool, a pink rotary cutter um, ruler material, and I'm gonna line this up here. And as you can see, I've got a continuous piece that I plan on embroidering several times. So now I'm just gonna X out of here, hit the sew button. It's gonna prompt me to put the hoop on say okay and now it's gonna stitch everything out so here's what I want to do I am gonna stitch everything out in the same color I'm using a barely black color that kind of matches our um, line work here on the fabric so all I'm gonna do is press the monochromatic button that is the little multicolored red, yellow, blue button that points to all yellow. So now that means that this is gonna all stitch out at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press my button and this should take uh, only a few minutes to stitch out. And I of course have threaded everything properly and I'll get started.
now our machine is stitching out our little arrows which are going to allow us to do the continuous border hooping with our pinpoint placement. Obviously, if you don't have pinpoint placement, the arrows will also work with virtual positioning. These designs here, these little arrows are meant to be picked out afterwards and not kept in the design. And then our next color or the next segment that it's gonna be stitching are our buttonholes. done so the machine is saying hey are you finished or do you want to do more well remember we wanted to do repeatable ones so I am selecting more and now all I need to do is add some more stabilizer and rehoop and I'll show you what to do all right so remember our little arrow marks that it makes that's where we want to line up our design from what shows up on our screen Now, there's an easier way to do this on the Bernina 880 Plus, but I'm gonna show you the not easy way first. So the machine comes in with it lining up to the top piece in the upper part of the hoop, but I wanna bring it down because you saw the arrow is at the down position there. So now this is moving my needle down to that spot or close to it. Now it's not really close to it at all. So now what I need to do is use my, is use my multi-motion knobs to move the tip of this new arrow point down to close to where my design is gonna start stitching out on my machine. You can see that I moved it down there. So I would check that one. Then I would come back to my screen and hit this arrow and we'll be ready to go again. So I'm gonna hit set, close out. And so here we go. Remember I wanna do the monochromatic, everything is cool. So now I can just stitch. second design is done and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out and I'm going to redo it this time with pinpoint placement only to show you how much more accurate pinpoint placement is and fun and worth every penny that you spend on machines that do have pinpoint placement and that is on the 500 embroidery only machine the 590 the 700 embroidery only machine the 790 Plus and the 880 plus. Okay, here's another way to do it. I've got my design all stitched out. Everything is cool. I'm ready to go on the third hooping of this. But this time, I'm just going to go say I'm finished and I want to start again. So what I'm going to do is going to go back to my edit screen. I've got my entire design selected. I'm going to take my pinpoint placement and reset it. And all I did with that was hit this little reset button there and it, it straightened up my design. So now I wanna focus my attention 
to not these red arrows here, but to the tips of my design. So I'm going to touch right there. And now I'm going to move with, using my multi-function knobs. And I'm going to put my foot down. And I'm going to touch the tips. Okay, I really like that, so I'm going to set it. Now I'm going across the street to the other one, and I'm going to move that one over. And I'm pretty happy with that. And now let's hit set, and let's see what this looks like. I'm just going to show you again like if you want to try again and you think you don't get something just right you can always take off your pinpoint placement and start again so you know sometimes we think it's close and then it's not and whatever so let's just try again we're going to hit the plus sign we're going to touch right here and that is where our design is and i might need to move it over just a little bit so now i'm going to um show you here okay so here is where my design is but I want it to be over here because I'm gonna touch our little motif tips so I'm gonna move this over and move it back And I think that I'm really good with it right there. I use my multi-motion knobs to do that, or multi-function. All right, so then I wanna set that, that one in place. Now I'm going to use my stylus to touch this tip just there. And now I don't really wanna move it side to side, I wanna move it up and down. I think it needs to be moved too much actually. So let's set it. And now we're ready to stitch. I'm starting the machine, but I want you to notice how perfect this is with the pinpoint placement. I know, the anticipation is, it might just kill me. There it is. Whoop! You can't, you can't really tell anything happened there. Yay! All right, it came off the machine. The fabric looks fantastic. I just love it. I've got some um, releasing of my basting stitches here to do, but you know, I'm just gonna give that some trimming. We'll pick that out from the back 
and no one will know there was anything there. But we, I'm using my handy dandy Nifty Notions buttonhole cutter with the little apple core block, and I'm gonna feed this under all of my buttonholes so I can cut these because I bet you can guess I'm gonna be feeding my ribbon through these little buttonholes. So let me do that and then I'll show you the finished result. So after I cut all my buttonholes, I fed some of this really cool Renaissance ribbon. Um, this is the Tula Pink homemade collection of ribbon that goes with this fabric. And I used the bodkin here to feed the, the ribbon through. So now I'm just gonna trim this up to size press it and add it to my Blythe Dawes cute little dress. Isn't she cute? And all dressed up with nowhere to go. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed making a continuous border and learning how to use your Bernina 790 or your Bernina 880 to its full potential. If you like, if you want to see more videos just like this one, don't forget to check out our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And if you want an alert every time we upload a new video, just like this one or other ones that are very different, click the little bell. But until then, happy sewing, happy making your doll happy, <laughs> and more. All right, thank you for tuning in.